ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ एट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू ब्राह्मण्स आर गॉडली स्टूडेंट्स the father has given you knowledge of the creator and creation and made you master jani janan hars brackets one who knows everything you now know everything question which children have the intoxication of explaining to others answer those who have the treasures of knowledge those who understand everything they hear and imbibe it are able to explain to others with intoxication you have to give everyone the father's introduction with intoxication and show them methods of how to claim their inheritance from him song having awakened my fortune i have come om shanti there is no need in fact to sing this song but that sound has to be made in order to entertain you souls do not actually need to make any sound souls want to go to the land beyond sound having heard so many musical instruments and so much clapping etc souls are tired and this is why they now remember the father Oh God take me back You children know that the father is explaining to us In a home both the father and the grandfather say Children children The grandfather wo the grandfather wouldn't say grandchildren come here both would say children come here here both baap and dada the corporeal one and the incorporeal are together in fact they are the baap and dada of the whole human world therefore the supreme father the supreme soul surely has to come here to create the world this name of yours brahma kumars and kumaris that has been kept is very good in abu there are temples to adhar devi and the kumari kanya there couldn't have been just one kumari there must have been many the temple to each is separate only you know who is called adhar devi and who is called kumari kanya they are the sib saktis a very a very big temple to them has been built there are many alcoves and so that shows that there must have been many kumaris and other kumaris the images that they created are memorials of those who existed in the past 
just as there are images of the deities who definitely existed in the past they were the masters of the world they are not that now only the creator of the world made bharat into the masters of the world how it is now becoming that in a practical way it is now the iron age in the golden age there is the one original eternal deity religion in the iron age there are innumerable religions and innumerable kingdoms of subsects when you children hear this you understand that baba is explaining accurately however due to one reason or another you are unable to imbibe it and this is why you are unable to inspire others to imbibe it there is one obstacle or another although the father explains very clearly we are dull students there are innumerable human beings and innumerable religions 5000 years ago bharat was heaven there were very few human beings there were just the sun and moon dynasty souls who had come from the supreme abode to play their parts the souls of all the other religions were in the land of nirvan now there are innumerable religions and the deity religion has disappeared so surely the golden age is to be created the supreme father the supreme soul alone has to come and create heaven god definitely has to come here to give the fruit of devotion to the devotees who remember him he will take all the rest back to the land of liberation no one else can take you back home if even one guru knew the path to liberation or salvation hundreds of thousands of followers would follow him people go on those pilgrimages and then come back but why would they come back from the land of liberation if someone were to find the path he would take everyone else with him the one father has now come and so all of you find the way he liberates everyone from the world of sorrow and this is why he is called the liberator that in corporeal one has to have a body to come here prajapita is also needed in order for the new world to be created the creation has to be created here therefore brahma a human being of this world is also needed he would not come down here from the subtle reason people say that it is now the night of brahma 
and so it is also the night of the mouth born creation of Brahma. The father has now come at the end to make it into the day. When the night of Brahma comes to an end, the night of the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris also comes to an end. It is right to say Prajapita Brahma. In fact, the father of all human souls is God. Everyone calls him God, the father, the supreme father, the supreme soul. When sensible people speak of God, the father, they are not remembering a human being. Some say that he is the form of eternal light, that he is the Brahm element, Brahma, Vishnu and Sankar cannot be called the Brahm element. So first of all, introduce yourselves as Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul creates Brahma and then creates Brahmins through the mouth of Brahma. He is the father of people and so he would surely have many children. The genealogical tree continues to grow in this way. The Brahmin clan changes and you become golden easy deities. Because the father sits here and teaches Brahmins Raji Yoga. The father says, by coming to know me and my creation through me, you will come to know everything. There is then nothing left to know. You pass such a big examination, that is, you become master Jani Jananhars. Only Brahmins are godly students, deities, merchants and sudras cannot be godly students. God only speaks to Brahmins. If it were God Krishna who speaks, to whom would he speak? Brahmins are definitely needed. So, Brahmins are created through Prajapita Brahma. It is Brahma who creates the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. It is never said the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Krishna. So, first of all, explain that it is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the ocean of knowledge himself who is teaching us. He is our father, teacher and Sadguru. So there is no need to ask any unnecessary questions about this. There are so many weak BKs. There aren't just one or two. First of all, teach them about Alpha. People cannot know anything without knowing Alpha. You should explain to them that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, Siva, is creating Brahmins through the mouth of Brahma. Brahma alone is not the creator. These points have to be imbibed. Baba has knowledge and so he delivers it to you. You are the Ganges of knowledge. There is just the one ocean. This Brahma also speaks this knowledge 
and so he is also a ganges of knowledge those who speak knowledge are the ganges of knowledge both males and females are included in that only the one father is the ocean of knowledge here just look how the ocean of water has been divided into parts in the golden age when there was just the one sun dynasty kingdom the ocean wasn't divided into parts you could have traveled anywhere no one would have said do not cross our boundary don't take our water here they even stop one another from taking water it has been divided into so many parts we are now establishing the one land of truth heaven the father churns the ocean of knowledge and this is how he explains to us brahma too says all living beings are my children adi dev adam is the father of all it isn't that there weren't any human beings and that adam then created human beings no the incorporeal father first definitely has to enter adam because only then can he create the mouth born creation it isn't that he emerged from someone's mouth or nose or that he was created out of the wind all of those are stories of devotion people continue to worship face and alligators so first and foremost who is the father of all souls he must surely have created heaven it is now hell we are now studying raj yoga for heaven from the supreme father the supreme soul brahma is also studying with him the supreme father the supreme soul is the father of all souls and brahma is the father of all living beings we are his mouth born creation brahma kumars and kumaris only the father the ocean of knowledge gives us knowledge we are following srimad and that is well known the direction of brahma are well known it is never said that even if vishnu were to come down no one would accept his directions this is said of brahma it is shiva who gives him knowledge you too follow shrimad and become elevated the father explains i come and establish the deity religion tell those of the arya samaji who caused so many complications you don't believe in the deities you defame them we belong to the deity religion your religion is separate from the deity religion each one has the freedom to do whatever he wants within his own religion the religion of muslims is separate they debate a great deal why are you doing this 
in fact our religion is the original eternal deity religion this is what is being spread everywhere why do you interfere you should explain to them tactfully there is no need to discuss this with them they would not understand anything through that give the father's introduction to anyone who comes we are claiming our inheritance from the father if you want to claim it then come the father is establishing the land of immortality and this is why you definitely have to become pure the father says you definitely do have to conquer ravan we the sakti army are gaining victory come and we will explain to you how our master is teaching us how to gain victory if you want to gain victory you can also become a member of the sakti army however don't talk about useless things only those who have the treasure of knowledge will be able to say this with intoxication acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 speak knowledge and become master oceans and ganges of knowledge and serve to make impure ones pure second explain to everyone very tactfully don't discuss these things with anyone give everyone the father's introduction blessing may you be soul conscious and with the personality and royalty of purity come close to the father just as physical response physical personalities make souls body conscious in the same way the personality of purity makes you soul conscious and brings you close to the father the personality of purity pulls souls towards purity and the royalty of purity frees you from paying any royalty in the land of dharmaraj on the basis of this royalty you will be able to come into the future royal family with this personality soul conscious children become spiritual mirrors to give visions of the father slogan always wear the special spectacles of seeing each one's specialities and you will become a special soul slogan always wear the special spectacles of seeing each one's specialities and you will become a special soul om shanti elevated invaluable versions from matiswari 21 of may 1957 This godly satsang is not a common satsang. 
this godly satsang of ours is not a common satsang this is a godly school college in which you have to study regularly otherwise when you simply attend a satsang and listen to them for a short time you then become as you were because you do not have a regular study there from which you could create a reward this is why our satsang is not a common satsang ours is a godly college where god sits and teaches us and we fully imbibe those teachings and attain a high status just as a teacher teaches in a school every day and then gives a degree similarly here too god himself in the form of the guru father and teacher teaches us and enables us to attain the highest status of deities this is why it is essential to join this school it is necessary for those who come here to understand this knowledge the teachings that are given here and what will what we will attain by receiving these teachings we know that god himself comes and enables us to attain a degree and that we then have to complete the whole course in just one birth those who take this course of knowledge fully from the beginning to the end will pass fully those who join in the middle of the course will not take as much knowledge they would not know what the beginning of the course was this is why you have to study regularly here it is only by knowing this knowledge that you will move forward and this is why you have to study regularly second become a true child of god and let there not be any doubts god says to his children children since god himself has come down to this earth we have to give him our hands firmly but only the real strong children can give baba their hands never let go of this father's hand if you let go of his hand where would you go after becoming an orphan since you have got hold of god's hand let there not be any thoughts even in a subtle form of letting go of his hand there should not be any doubts i don't know whether i will be able to do, do this or not there are even such children who due to not recognizing the father confront the father and even say that they are not concerned about anything if there are any such thoughts then how could the father look after such unworthy children you then have to understand that you will fall because maya will try very hard to make you fall she will definitely test you to see to what extent you are a brave strong warrior this too is essential the smarter you become with god the smarter maya will become and try to make you fall the pairing will be equal the stronger god is the more maya will show her strength but we have the firm faith that ultimately god is the strongest of all and that it will his victory we have to keep this faith in every breath 
and so maya our strength she will not show her weakness in front of god once you become weak then that's it so even though maya shows her force we mustn't let go of the hand of the one who is the lord of maya when you hold on to his hand fully you can then consider victory to be yours since god is our master there must not be any thought of letting go of his hand if you let go of his hand you would be a great fool and this is why god says children since i myself am the almighty then just as you are with me so you also have to become as almighty do you understand children acha om shanti